What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. It's another day of the Players Cup 3, and uh, we got 25 keys left to go. We'll see if you see this video or not. It'd be pretty cool if you did, because that means we uh, got top cut. My opponent is going to first, though. Alright, our hand is, um, I would say it's pretty good. If we top deck, like, another energy, too bad we can't... This is the only bad thing about playing the Heat, is you can't Welder it on, so... There is a Dedini anyway, so we can't take a knockout regardless. No one-shot here, unfortunately, but... Uh, we'll see what we get. This is sponsored by, uh, Bang Energy Drinks. Purple Haze, best drink. If you're wondering. Alright, just a Trapid Sword, playing his ADP, let's go! Alright, on our turn, we hit a switch, okay? So I think we're still just going to Welder the one. Go ahead and Blade this. We can... Let's see here. How, how do we want to play this matchup right now? So I'm going to quick discard a Crystal. Because uh, we're going to dump the hand anyway. Yeah. There's another Sin... The, the other Savali is in the deck. So we'll go Volcanion. This. Heat. Switch into a Dedini. Yup. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Well, the hand is weird, right? I, I don't think we want to communicate anything because then we don't have options next. Year. So I'm just going to Flare Starter, put three on the Sinti Scorch V. One, two, and three. Uh, so we hit for 160, which does knock out the Dedini next turn if he does decide to swing to it. Um, we can even maybe go for a Hot Burn GX, knock out a ADP if it does happen. But the opponent needs a Water Switch, Energy Switch, ADP, which isn't too crazy. There's the ADP to start the Wombo Combo. No Zashin hits the field. Let's see what else my opponent has here. Now, we can maybe also take a knockout this turn. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 240. 280? Yeah, we can take a knockout this turn pretty easily as well. We just need a welder, energy attachment, and we're good to good, right? That's 6, 7, 7, 14, 20, and 28. Um, there is a Pokemon Catcher, and that is a Heads. Who will he bring up here? Uh, I mean, regardless, we have to... Maybe his hand is, like, really bad. So he's going to bring up the Heatran. Doesn't want us to get the... Um, the Burning Road effect. But uh, I think this... Okay, we just need a Trepid Sword. Yo... We are going to be so far ahead if we attack this turn. All right, so we'll go um, Sinti Scorch. We'll go Sinti Scorch. Yeah, I'm just going to communicate, dump this, and just play a Didini. I I know we don't have Savali, but I, whew, if we hit this uh, attack, okay. All right, so we do have the knockout. We go Giant Hearth. Giant Hearth discard the Sinti Scorch. Get two fire energies. We'll go ahead and switch. Attach. It's a G Max for 200. Uh, so we have no energy cards. If we had one fire, this card probably would look pretty good there. This communication and a fire energy. No welder. Welder would be very, very good right now, but obviously we don't have one, so that's okay. ADP comes up. If we top deck welder, we have knockout for sure. Um. There's an energy switch up to the ADP, I imagine. Okay. Energy spinner. Now I could discard all my energies and one-shot the ADP this turn if we want to go that way. That's very aggressive. Water energy into alter creation. Man, it might be worth it. Like, putting an opponent at zero energies on the field might be really good. There's a boss order. Brings up the Heatran. Now, we can't do what we want to do now, unfortunately. But maybe we top deck welder. There's a metal saucer onto that guy. Uh, Didini comes down. Discards another ball sorter and another metal saucer. That's two saucers gone. There's the altar of the creation onto our turn. We find a switch. Okay. So this makes it has two less. So, let's attach. We'll hearth the communication. Five, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so if I attach here, 
No, I can air balloon this. Switch. Into retreat. So let's go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right, and then we hoppered GX for 300, and then now we just need one energy, and we can attack with the Santa Scorch next turn, and that will knock him out. Let's play his big charm. Look at all those fire energies. That is terrible. We hit a. <laughs> Let's see here. I think we're okay though. I mean, he can maybe swing for. I mean, he still needs like energy saucer. Now an energy switch. So that's not ideal if you're my opponent. I mean, right now we're just going to do like Steam Makes on for knockout. That seems pretty good. Um, Sinti also just takes a knockout if he does swing this turn. And there's Cherish Ball. This might grab Mawa? Nope, doesn't grab anything. And there we go. All right, so taking down ADP in the first round. I'm still kind of convinced that ADP is just like an okay matchup. Like, you don't need many energies. <clears throat> you can easily two shot. You can easily one shot an ADP, and uh, yeah, <coughs> didn't even use Silvalley that game. But we'll see you in round number two here in a second. All right, guys, on to round two, playing against J. Hall C U fifteen. Uh, I guess they're playing Pink of Rome, hence the uh, deck sleeves and everything like that. Uh, coin as well as yellow, so. And we lost Queen Flip. So I imagine they will be going first. Yup. I mean, second. Sorry, sorry. They want to be second. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, I, and what I said in my head was correct. So, um, we'll start Sinti. Okay. The hand is actually pretty good. Press done. All right, so we'll go, it's a good top deck too. So we go Giant Hearth, Giant Hearth the Crystal. Just find ourselves two fighter G's. We'll attach a fighter G. We will let's go click the fire. To grab a type null. Put that type null and we'll pass. Okay, so next turn, the game plan is to Cherish Ball for Savali. Uh, Cherish Ball for Savali. Communicate this for the V Max. Air Balloon this guy. Type null or Savali GX for five. Yep, that's a pretty good play. There's a Mewtwo Mew coming down. There's a Research. No Marnie. Whoa, and a boss order. All right, that's pretty good. There's a Boltant. So, of course, he wants to go for the Electrify here. But if we get, um, if we swing, we take a knockout. Crobat. Of course, he wants to put the energies on the Mewtwo and Mew. And there's Electrify. I imagine the two will go on the Mewtwo. That's definitely the correct play. You don't put on the Pika. Okay, so he's doing it right. Two in the Mewtwo on our turn. All right, so, well, we get a Crobat as well. Okay, so, like I said, we'll go Air Balloon. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's do this. First, a Valai. Put down some Valai. Let's, I'm actually gonna communicate in the Crobat. So that way we can, um, yeah, that's the better play for sure. How many wilders are in the deck? Three, okay. So we'll go Sinti VMAX, Air Balloon, Disc Reload. Mmm. And we hit the other crystal. So we'll go here to a Didini, Yalp. We'll giant hearth this for two. We'll welder. Put down a Sinti. Go ahead and put down Heatran. Just to thin the hand or thin the deck, just in case. 
And we'll GMAX Sit Deferno for 200 and attach return to 40. Next turn is uh, pretty simple. It is going to be. <clears throat> well, he's going to go for probably the, the Raichu and Raichu. And there's Electromagnetic Air Radar. Discards a choo choo. There it goes. So my plan is to Sinti, switch, attach, try to find a Walder to go onto this new Sinti Scorch. That's definitely the game plan. So speed to the Mewtwo, which is good. There's Marnie, which is kind of disruptive because we have two switch in our hand. Because we we're no, we know he's going to go for the Paralyzation this turn. Okay. Yeah, the plan, it's definitely, yeah, I see what to do here. Electromagnetic, going to find himself a Didini. Uh, go for the Diddy change. Discards another ball sorter. That is three discarded now. Ooh, this swell is very good for him, too. There's a hammer. Has. Ooh, that means we have to welder this guy this turn now. Another hammer. Okay. And just a tandem shock. Alright, if we get knockout, I don't know if there's a way he can get a back a knockout back on us. We have all four switch in the deck. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fourteen. Wait. Four, five, six, seven, seven, fourteen, twenty, twenty eight, right? Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so that'd be enough for a knockout. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch this to Valley first. I'm going to Let's just disc reload for one and see if we hit an energy. Okay, so we're welder. One. Attach. Retreat. G Max. Okay. What I'm nervous about is that we have two crystals down. But he needs a lot to take a knockout this turn. Speed for two. Big charm. And that's going to be game. All right. Well played, bud. All right, there we go. I was trying to hit them well played back. I was trying to be nice. Ah, to the finals we go again. Let's go. All right, don't know who we're playing against yet, but Pika once again. I, I think Pika is just such a good matchup. Like I, I don't, I don't think we struggle against Pika at all. All right, we'll see you in the next game for the finals. Cool beans. What? Oh, what? We're in the finals. I almost said what's up, everybody, but it's not a what's up, everybody. It's we're on to the finals. Let's go. Call the coin flip. Heads like always. Uh, won the coin flip. Would you like to go first? No. All right. Let's see. Does Charizard Charizard ADP? Well, our hand is starting off pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. Not sure what my opponent is playing though, but we'll find out real quick here in a second. <laughs> right now, it's communicate for Sinti. Uh, attach fire. Put down hearth, Dedani, Snorlax, Power Plant, Orbeetle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's an Orbeetle in the final, bro. 
Oh, I love Orbital. Like, I super love Orbital. It's my favorite deck. It's my favorite. Cool, cool, cool. How many bosses are in here? Two. All right. Now you might think this is like overkill and orbital, but remember they do play weakness guard, so that's a big thing here. So there's the orbital VMAX. Okay. We also have the giant hearth next turn to counter a plant as well. Right now my plan is to like. Senti Senti, Savale, hope to hit boss or to bring up a, a Orbital and just like start going crazy. Um, they can't get the VMAX right now. There's Bird Keeper to the Orbital. There's a Hammer. Tails. Hammer. Heads. Okay. Hammer. Heads. And that's three. That's three Hammers. Three Hammers! There's the VMAX. We'll see an eerie beam. Okay. Grass energy. U turn board for free retreat. Snorlax and the Gordman dies. Okay. Pretty good turn by my opponent. Let's see what we have here. We got this. Onto this. Onto this guy. Onto switch. Into a disc reload. I probably should have did that a little bit different. It's okay. So do two forty. 28320. So we go with knock him out next turn. There's a Dedini. Okay. We got switch if we need it. Okay, we kept the hearth too, which is good. Like that 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 like situation is so good. Alright, there's a VMAX. Oh got the double VMAX. Okay, it's got the Eerie. Is it the weakness? Yeah, it is. Does he have a knockout? Yeah, it is. And there's G-Max Wave for 300. We overcommitted. Yo, I should have realized that.
four eight twelve. So let's see, it does 50 plus 50, so 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 250, not enough for a knockout. There's Didini, and Fire Crystal, and Sinti, okay. Here comes Orbeetle. Polka Doll, Reset Stamp, okay, Eerie Beam, U-Turn Board, Five, ten, fifty, twenty. Let's see what he does here. Goose Mahala. Crushing and a aromatic energy. Her future and weakness. Okay. Another weakness into the turf. Orbital V. He's just going to discard it, most likely. Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five. So it's not enough right now, right? Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five. We are only doing two fifty. He has got. He has boss order. He has game, right? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, two, forty, two, eighty. So I can't take a knockout there. Hmm. Yeah, I think if he has boss or he has game. There we go, we lost Orbeetle. I overcommitted on the Sandy Scorch. Um, definitely big, big play, misplay there. I, I, I don't know why I played into that. That was definitely like me, like not paying attention. Uh, so yeah, we lost to Orbeetle. I can't complain, like that makes me happy. I, I think Orbeetle's still like a very good deck that people just like don't respect. And we just like overcommitted the energy to Sandy. We should've just like split the energies and like do shots on Sandy Scorch, or, or Sandy, 
Should have like split the energies, but we didn't. Um, we almost had KO with. I think if he didn't stay at me, we would have been okay. But still, I, I'm fine with that. Like that's okay. Like I'm fine with losing Orbital because it's one of my favorite decks. People said the deck is bad, but I think it's really good. So guys, hold your video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we learned don't overcommit against Orbital. It's definitely a huge miss on my part. We should probably just keep like two energies on Cinti and just like two shot him regardless. Either way. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, bye.